Good evening, beloved community of St. Stephen. Intern Shauna here, and I am so excited to be with you here tonight. I'm going to share a story, and I would love for you to find a quiet place in your house. And as I'm sharing this story, use your imagination and just see the things that you notice as you hear it and the things that stand out to you in your heart. So tonight we're going on a journey with two men who are from Jerusalem and they're going on the road to Emmaus. Now they start out their journey together and they are talking about all the things that have happened, about Jesus of Nazareth, about finding out that he truly was our God, all the miracles that had happened and the tragedy that he was put to death because of our ignorance. And so they're going together on this journey and the night is windy, the ground is rocky, they have linen over their faces, they're closely together and they're discussing everything that had happened. And in the distance, they see a man coming towards them who's about to join them in this journey to the village. And as they approach each other, he hears them talking about all these things, they're passionately talking about all these things that happened and that they're trying to make sense of. And he asks them, you know, what are you so passionately discussing? And they tell him. And then they're so surprised because they ask him, are you the only stranger from Jerusalem that doesn't know what has been happening in our town? And so they continue to tell him about Jesus and all the things that happened. And then they tell him, even some of the women from our community this morning rolled the tomb away where Jesus would have been and he wasn't there. And so this man with them on this journey said, well, why is it so hard to believe in God's prophets and what they have told you has happened? And so they continue to walk and talk and the sun is just about to set and it's getting darker. And it seems that this man is gonna leave them. And they invite him to stay, no, please stay. We need to get some food, we need to rest. Please stay with us and let's talk some more. And so later that night, they're sitting around a beautiful table and they're resting for the day. And this man that they had spent this long journey with takes the bread off the table and then he blesses the bread and he breaks the bread and he gives it to them. And in that very moment, their eyes were opened and they could see that it was Jesus himself. And they were in shock. And they turned to each other because something had happened on the journey that their hearts were burning inside. They just knew that there was something different about this person that they had spent time with. And then God had opened their eyes to show them at the right time when they were ready that it was Jesus. And then they knew that the scriptures were true, that Jesus had come back to life, that he had resurrected. And I can't help but think that we ourselves are on a journey. We are on this road where all these things are happening at different times within our worlds. We've been given so much information and there's grief and there's fear, but then there's also hope and beauty at the same time. And that now more than ever, hope and faith are so important. And they seem so simple, right? They seem like we can't have hope right now. There are people in the world that are suffering, that are losing their jobs, that are dying. What good does hope and faith 
give us. But I think right now what we are called to do is be the leaders of hope and faith and that the love of God will help us through this. It doesn't mean that there won't be suffering. It doesn't mean that there won't be tears shed, but it means that we are not alone. Now there are several times throughout the Bible when they talk about the veil. And some of us really know what that means, but some of you have, have, may have not heard that expression before. So what is this veil? It's this veil from God that for our own good, I really believe that there are times that we should not see and understand and know everything. That it's for our protection. And just like in our story today, when the time was right, Jesus revealed himself. And so what might bring you some hope right now is to know that there is a veil and on the other side is Jesus there with you, comforting you, giving you hope and strength, bringing people to you that can help you, that you are not alone. And now more than ever, pour your entire hearts out to God. Your joy, your fear, your anxiety. So I just want to say thank you for going on this journey with me tonight. And I hope you think about this story and dwell in this space and think about the things that we don't know but think about that God is always with us every single step of the way. And don't be afraid to ask for help when you need help right now. Don't be afraid to reach out to a friend when you are feeling lonely. And remember the things that we are taking in affect us. So this might be a time you need to turn the news off. This might be a time that you need to be aware of bad habits you are creating and turn bad habits into good habits. So from all of us here at St. Stephen, I know we're not together physically, but we are always together spiritually. And from my heart to your heart, I love you and I care about you and I'm praying for you. And I wish you a blessed evening. Good night.